Hello everybody, it's Becca Switzer with Roof Souls Mastery, author of Diamonds in the Sky. Sitting here in my office that is still not totally set up, but I am surrounded by my sweet doggies and look at all my plants. This Monstera, it almost died. I had to cut a bunch of stuff off because when I was moving, it uh, froze half to death. But surrounded by plants and uh, can't wait to have this room set up. It's going to be really nice to have a workspace that is just bursting with life. Today, I wanted to share with you guys, though, a story that I'd actually heard a couple years ago, but I got reminded of it when somebody else posted it today. And I thought it was really valuable because I think a lot of us are caught up in this kind of cultural sickness of sorts where we just need to do more and more and more and like we're not doing good enough and we you know there's like the scarcity mindset which even I deal with like I'm six, more successful than I ever thought I would ever be as a younger person and even to this day I still deal with like anxiety like I'm, I'm not doing enough even though I've already built this incredible business and like things are going great for me and I have everything I could ever ask for and this story is such a great reminder and I want to share it with you to help you on your journey um, to achieve whatever you consider your own personal success story. So I'll read it here. Um, so there's a boat docked in a tiny Mexican fishing village. A tourist complimented the local fishermen on the quality of their fish and asked how long it took him to catch them. Not very long, he said. Well, why didn't you stay out longer and catch more? The fishermen explained that their small catches were sufficient to meet their needs and those of their families. But what do you do with the rest of your time? We sleep late, fish a little, play with our children, and take siestas with our wives. In the evenings, we go into the village to see our friends, have a few drinks, play the guitar, and sing songs. We have a full life. The tourist interrupted. Well, I have an MBA from Harvard, and I can help you. You should start by fishing longer every day. You can then sell the extra fish you catch. With the extra revenue, you can buy a bigger boat. And after that, asked the fisherman. Well, with the extra money the larger boat will bring, you can buy a second one and then a third one and so on until you have an entire fleet of boats. Instead of selling your fish to a middleman, you can then negotiate directly with the processing plants and maybe even open your own plant. You can then leave this little village and move to Mexico City, Los Angeles, Toronto, or even New York City. From there, you can direct your huge new enterprise. Well, how long would that take? Asked the fisherman. Maybe 20 years, replied the tourist. And after that, asked the fisherman. Afterwards, well, my friend, that's when it gets really interesting, answered the tourist, laughing. When your business really gets big, you can start buying and selling stocks and make millions. Millions, really? And after that, asked the fisherman. Well, after that, you'll be able to retire, live in a tiny village near the coast, sleep late, play with your children, catch a few fish, take a siesta with your wife, and spend your evenings drinking and enjoying your friends. And the moral of the story is, know where you're going in life you might already be there. And this is something that really rings true to me at, at this stage of my life. And I know we're all on our different, you know, different journeys, different places in our journey. Some of us are still really in our hustle phase and some are in the middle and some are toward the end, right? But this was such a great reminder that if you don't really know what you want out of life, okay? And that doesn't mean, like this means on a personal level, like remember that life is meant to just be enjoyed, right? And yes, obviously we have to work so that we can pay our bills and have clothes on our back and have, you know, do the things we want to do. And some people want to live much more extravagant lives than others. Some people just want to have a simple life, you know, like, like the people in the story that just want to fish and hang out with their wives at night and play guitar and have fun with their friends and things like that. But it's such a great reminder that you need to know where you're going. Like, what what is success to you? And sometimes I feel like that question is actually difficult to answer. And I remember when I was a young, a teenager in, in Cutco, they were asked, like we had a journaling exercise one day and they're really big on personal development and, and, and visualizing what, what you want for your future and stuff like that, which is great. And I remember sitting there and they're like, what do you want? Like, what are your goals? And I'm like, I don't know. And I, I wrote down some things that like sounded good at the time. Like, oh, I want to have a beach house someday. Like, okay, who wouldn't want to have a beach house? Cool. But I wasn't like super necessarily inspired. I don't need to have that to be happy. Swim with dolphins, uh, go skydiving, stuff like that. I wrote down some things, but really I'm like, what do I really want to do? And later I had heard of a, a phrase or a something that somebody defined as success that I've really adopted and that rang true to me, which was the freedom to do what you want to do, when you want to do it with whoever you want to do it with. And I'm like, that's what I want. Um, and later uh, I read the four hour work week by Timothy Ferris and I'm like, make X amount of money in four hours a week. That's what I want. And 
it's funny because throughout that journey, I achieved that a long time ago, well, a long time ago, a handful of years ago. But even then, I was still putting this ridiculous pressure on myself. Like I felt like I wasn't doing enough. I had to do more. If I didn't work as hard as I did last year or the year before, I wasn't gonna keep everything that I had built around me, even though it was complete nonsense. Um, and so somehow, and I think it's just this cultural pressure that we put like this, uh, you know, I just had a, I was just on the results engine podcast and, and Mike referred to it as toxic hustle culture. And that really resonated with me because sometimes we just get caught up in like either this fear, like the scarcity mindset, like what we have today might not be there tomorrow, which on one hand can be very healthy, right? Like having that mentality always keeps you like, hey, I always show up and give my best and work because I might not have today what I, or tomorrow what I have today, that could be gone. But that sometimes evolves into this unhealthy sickness where we are constantly worried and stressed and so much so that we're busting our ass, even though we have everything that we really need because we haven't had this clear picture, we haven't defined this clear picture of what success really means to us and we're not even enjoying our lives. And I want to just put a message out there for you guys that life is meant to be enjoyed. Ultimately, we're, you know, look to nature, right? Animals and plants just are alive. And, you know, look at all the animals outside. What do they do? They eat, sleep, <laughs> right? They bang and they play and they just have fun. And they don't, you know, a coyote doesn't go out and kill 18 rabbits. He kills one rabbit because that's all he needs to eat today. And after that, he's not like, oh shit, what about tomorrow though? If I don't have this many rabbits, right? And so I've been really trying to simplify my life a little bit more over the last few years and, and enjoy my life and realize that I have everything that I need. And, and something that's really helped me personally is if and when, and maybe this will help you too, I get caught up in an anxious thought process or cycle or something like that. And it's kind of nonspecific. Like, I don't know why I'm having anxiety or I feel like I need to do more or whatever. I just look around and I go, what are the facts right now? The facts are there's nothing that absolutely has to get done right the second that if I don't do it right now, my house is going to explode, <laughs> right? Or I'm going to go to jail or something like that. There's a roof over my head. My bills are paid. I'm healthy. I have friends. Like everything's good. <sighs> everything's fine. And then from that baseline, it's like, what do I want to do today? How can I add value to somebody's life today? And then you approach business and, and what you do for a living, things like that from a totally different attitude and perspective. So that story was just so important and I need to save it somewhere so that I can read it like every single week. But I hope that this inspires you guys to get some real clarity on what it is for you. Like what is success really for you? Like, the number of sales, this arbitrary sales number maybe that you put up or accounts that you need to get or deals that you need to get, what does that number actually represent, right? If it's a million dollars, what does that actually represent? What is that gonna really allow you to do? You might already be there, right? Or you now have an actual game plan or a picture of when I'm at that point, I no longer have to stress, like it's time to really just enjoy my life and so, Think about that today. That's what I challenge you guys to do. I'd love to know what your success looks like. Like share with me in the comments, what does that lifestyle look for, like to you? Like again, for me, it's just, I wanna be able to do whatever I wanna do with whoever I wanna do it with, whenever I wanna do it and not have to worry about what the price tag is and um, not have to work more than four hours a week if I don't want to and things like that. So, you know, live where I wanna live so that I can, hike whenever I want to right outside of my back door with my dogs and stuff like that. What does yours look like? Have fun with it. And then define what it actually takes to get there so that you don't kill yourself unnecessarily or stress yourself out unnecessarily getting there. So life's meant to be enjoyed, you guys. Keep it crunchy out there. As always, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can check out RoofSalesMastery.com for my actual sales training programs and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.